since I've done one of these videos. So we are going to do today, we are going to do a same sex reading for my LGBT community for males, right? And we're almost in Scorpio, Scorpio season, y'all. Are you ready for it? Yeah, Scorpio season. All right. I'm using my spooky deck because I said deck, not dick, but you know. <laughs> All right, so we're doing same sex males. So this would be um, two males that are in a relationship. So this would be for same-sex males, twin flames, okay? We're going to see what's going on in y'all's connection, okay? It's been a minute. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. So, let me make it up to you all by giving you a beautiful reading. So, we are tapping into the twin flame energy of the same-sex male collective energy read. We will do a... We will do a singles read, and then we're going to do a couples read. So we're going to do that. Let me get these cards out first. So I got this deck already shuffled for y'all. And we're going to do, we'll start out with the Romance Angels first. But I wanted to get that deck out for you. All right. And we're going to do, we'll do for you singles. We will do some character traits of your person and, you know, some possible places where you could meet them. We're going to end this reading with a spirit message. I'm sorry. I'm just organized today. I don't even got my damn decks on shit. All right. So let's start out with the romance angels. So for whoever, did, whoever needs to hear this, for whoever finds this reading and you are in a same-sex relationship twin flames only please so if you found this you are definitely a twin flame i am a twin flame reader it is my specialty all right and now this is for lgbt so if you're you know two twin flame males or one of you used to be a female whatever it doesn't matter trans you know the energy is very fluid if this resonates with you then it's for you okay we are doing same-sex male twin flames. I don't know whose story we're going to pick up, but we're going to pick up someone's. We're going to pick up the highest collective energy read for same-sex males. I need to turn my phone off. It's already going off. One second. All right. I'm sorry about that. You're going to hear that beep. All right. Same-sex twin flame males. Whose story are we picking up today, spirit? All right, what do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do we got? We have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. So right off the bat, spirit is confirming. For those of you that came here with questions, this person that you met, is this your person? Can you see that? I have my light on. So I'm hoping you guys can see. All right, let's get two more cards. Wow. So yes, for you singles that are asking, this could be the one. And for those of you that are in a relationship too. Okay, the one that you're with is the one. Spirit is confirming it. We have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So it looks like we're we're connecting to the singles right now. So we're going to just roll with that one first. Okay, Spirit is talking to you singles. You've called in your soulmates and yes, this is the one. Now I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say soulmate. It says soulmate, but you called in your twin flame. This person is the one, okay? What else? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal your past, you experience more love in your present moments. So we have that you called in your twin flame. Ooh, look at the body on that one. <laughs> body, yaddy, yaddy. All right. So learning to release and heal. Forgiving and learning. Forgive yourself, first and foremost. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for all the times you never felt good enough. 
for all of the trauma that you've accumulated over the years and forgive yourself for every transgression you think you've made upon yourself and upon other people. Forgive all of that. Forgive all of it. Because right now you are worthy for love. Right as you are right now. You're perfect and you're ready for love. You've called in your twin soul. You've called in your twin flame. Spirit has already confirmed that, okay? They want you to work on forgiving yourself. Maybe forgiving um, your parents. Forgiving anyone that's ever hurt you. This is going to keep your heart chakra open for love, okay? And you don't want to screw this up, right? Because this is your person. Spirit is already confirmed. So if you're dating someone or you just started recently seeing someone, this person is definitely your person. See, we got this could be the one. Okay. Now, they're not saying 110%, but it says you've already met. The, it said this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So if there's someone on your mind, Spirit is confirming that. So it looks like here in this last card, there's a lot of energy of pain. So forgive yourself. Forgive anyone else who's ever caused you any pain. Um, release. And you know what? Forgiveness is not, it's not for the other person. It's for you. It's so you, it's not, you don't even have to tell them. You don't even have to say, hey, I'm forgiving you. Just forgive them and move past it so that you can be free to love. Okay? It's not for them. It's for you. It's so you can untether your soul and be free to move on to better things. All right? And better fucks. <laughs> All right. What do we got from the Boti Tarot? We'll do some cards from the Boti Tarot. And then um, I love this deck. It's shaped like a heart. It's so cute. And then we will get some character traits for those of you that are single or just recently started dating someone. Can we get, whoa, that card flew out. One more. It says, toxic relationships are leaving your life. Loving yourself has attracted more loving relationships into your life. So you're letting go of all that toxicity. I can't talk. Toxicity. See that? Toxic relationships. They're leaving your life. So you're, you've attracted someone who's resonating at your level, resonating in alignment with you, okay? Self-love is important at this time. Put yourself first. Take care of yourself and be gentle with yourself. Yes. See, again, we have the self-love, the self-love, the self-forgiveness. Be gentle with yourself. It has been a long journey for you, hasn't it? Yes, yes, it has. And you deserve this moment of love. Okay, it says, our last card says, it takes courage to get out of your comfort zone, but doing so will lead you to opportunities you've always dreamed of. So Spirit is asking you right now, what is it that you've been afraid of that you haven't tried um whatever that is it's something that spirit wants you to do they want you to get out of your comfort zone so that you can fully embrace this life right we're brought here on this earth to experience love and life and everything beautiful right you know we are a portion of god experiencing ourselves right experiencing life so we're a part of God experiencing a human existence. So <clears throat> um, that's what you have to remember. You know, you are a part of God. You are God, basically. <laughs> you are a portion of God. It's like if God made a mini-me <laughs> and, you know, God's source branched off into a bunch of mini-me's and said, go out and I want to experience life through you because I cannot do that because I am a soul eternal. And so I cannot experience these things. So I have to put my souls into you so that you can experience life. So that's what you are and you're experiencing all of this. All right. So for those of you that are single, let's get some character traits of your person. How will... Um, 
<clears throat> How will they know who this person is? Can we get three character traits, please? And some of y'all might be having some throat chakra issues. I had to pause it because I literally was choking on my water. <laughs> Just so you know. But I'm back. I didn't die, bitch. All right. Okay, so let's see how will they know who this person is. Ooh, that card just flew out. Wow, body art. So for some of you, your person will have some tats. <clears throat> if it's not like physical tattoos, it will be like maybe they are a body painter. They do body art or something like that to be an artist. How else will they know? How else will they know, please, Spirit? <clears throat> Multilingual. So for some of you, your person will speak more than one language. Okay. One more, please. Whoa, that one flew out too. Air sign. Okay. So we have body art, multilingual. So speaking more than one language. And then for some of you, it's an air sign. So if those character traits match your person, then yes, this is your person. Now, for those of you that have not met this person, singles, right? How will you meet this person? What will be some major clues as to how they will meet this person, spirit? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages and spirit guides. Sorry if there's any background noise. I should probably shut this door again. Just wanted to be able to keep an eye on my kiddos. One second. Alright. So let's get some character traits for those who have not met their person. Character traits for this. I'm uh, not character traits. Um, how, how you will meet your person for the singles. We have a fated meeting. Wow. So it says... It literally says fated meeting, meaning that you are meant to meet this person, like, really soon. Soulmates, again, we got it. I told you, this is, this is, okay, so look, this is um, a subway, okay? So for some of you, if you live in a big city, like New York City or something, you will meet this person on the subway. Or somehow on a bus, on a train, while you're traveling, this is when you'll meet your person. And it literally says faded meeting. I'm so excited. This is a soulmate card. We're, I mean, it says soulmate, but I am a twin flame reader. So we use that as a twin flame card. Okay. Let's get one more. Wow. This is incredible. Your guys is reading. Oh my God. So if you haven't met your person, this next person that is coming into your life is going to be your person. Or if you have someone that you're talking to right now, they are your person, okay? One more, Spirit. Music. Music. So music is really important to your person. They're either a mu musician or they send you a lot of songs. Spirit keeps saying they send you music. So this person, you'll probably know who they are because they'll probably send you music and say, this song makes me think of you or... You know, if you guys are out and there's a song playing, they will remember that song and then we'll send it to you later and say, this was a song that was playing at our first date, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be something along those lines. I can feel it. They may even sing. I keep getting a vision of someone singing in my head. So they may write you a song, sing a song for you, sing to you. Okay. Okay. So for the singles, let's get some tarot out for the singles. And then we'll move on to those that are in a relationship, okay? <laughs> singles. What do we got for singles? Singles. Can we get three cards for singles? Okay, so for some of you, this person is going to bring a lot of balance into your life. And also, I feel like it's because you have started to balance out work and play. Work and pleasure. Yes. Oh, see, look, you've been doing a lot of resting, a lot of meditation, a lot of self-care. You know what? I feel like your self-care is going to increase in the next couple days, in the next week. And that's going to be what draws in your person. Once you're really relaxed 
and sort of feeling balanced and peaceful, that is gonna be the energy that is gonna draw your person right to you. For some of you, you might be dealing with a water sign too. They have water on this card. I'll show you the cards in just a minute. I wanna get two more out for you, okay? What just happened here? Oh, my light just went out. Crap. All right, let's hold that one second. Okay, sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties. I accidentally, I accidentally shut off the camera when I went to take off my light because my light shut off. See, I have a little light. The LED light turned off. And so I'm gonna have to just splice this into two videos. You won't even notice. Okay, so the next card that we drew is the Magician, which is telling me here that you have manifested this person. Okay, and the thing is, this person has is going to have everything that you want. I mean, this is literally your perfect match. Okay, the magician is someone who has everything at their disposal. They have all character signs of all of all of the zodiac. They have pentacles, swords, cup. Um, what's the other one? Swords, pentacles, cup. What's the other? Why can't I think but wands? There it is. And you have done your work. You manifested this person. You did it. It was just one, one, one on my phone, on my camera. All right. Can we get one more card, please? My hair is getting in the cards, guys. Okay. One more, please. One more, one more, one more. What do we got? Wow, three of cups. So there's going to be a lot of joy, a lot of celebrations. You know what? So for some of you too, you could meet this person on the way to a party or you're going to meet them at a party. Um, there's some kind of like celebration going on. It could be like, you know, you're going out with your girlfriends or... You know what I'm saying? Like, and I say girlfriends because, you know, um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people in the gay community have a lot of female friends. I know like half of my, half of my friends are gay. And so that's why I do these readings because I have so much love for the gay community. Just the out, not just the gay community though. Like I'm all inclusive. This is, that's why I call these readings LGBT because it's for, you know, it, it includes all of the um, that spectrum of you who relate to my love readings and my energy. So thank all of you for, uh, thank you. I want to thank all of you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, for loving me, for being here with me in this space and for allowing me to channel for you, for your love life. It's such an honor. So let me show you all the cards. So we have the two of pentacles, which represents, you know, balancing out your work with your pleasure this is meditation and resting. So like I said, this period that you're going through, this period of like resting and self-love and self-care and um, manifesting your person is what is drawing this person, is magnetically drawing your person to you because you are doing massive amounts of self-care this week, okay? And there's a three of cups, the celebration. See, it's three witches, three bitches. <laughs> and they're celebrating, they're toasting, they got their glasses up. They're like, um, what's that song by Rihanna? Um, I'll drink to that. I don't know how it goes. I can't remember, but it's the Spirit's channeling it. It's, um, cheers to the freaking weekend. Um, oh, you know, you know the song. I can't think of it. That's all they're giving me. Uh, da, 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 I'll drink to that, blah, blah, blah. That song. So when that song's playing, pay attention because it's going to mean something. All right. So let's go ahead and let's move on to those that are in a relationship. We'll go ahead and get some cards for them. And then we'll end with your guys' mutual spirit message. Okay. So for those that are in a relationship right now. <laughs> what do they need? <laughs> Excuse me. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Those that are in a relationship right now. Those that are in a relationship spirit. What do they need to know about this connection? Ooh. For some of y'all, you got some blocked chakras because it's been really hard for me to shuffle 
your cards with the romance angels. Just putting that out there. You might have to do some unblocking of some chakras. Okay. What do we got for those that are in relationships or are loosely connected? We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So for some of you, you, you are literally, um, there's going to be some extreme moments of intimacy and sharing your deepest selves with each other. And it's going to deepen your bond. It's going to take it to the next level. Oh, that's beautiful. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Oh, man. One more. One more. Look, so you need to decide what you want. For those of you that are in a relationship, what is it that you want? What's the next step for you? Is it moving in together? Is it marriage? What's the next step? Is it adopting? Is it, um, what is it? Are you extending your family? Like, what's the next step? For some of you, it might be see something as simple as like taking a vacation together. I don't know. Going on a trip together. Last card, please, Spirit. Last card. Thank you. This reading has been so beautiful. Children. Oh, my God. Just as I said adopt. I just said it. Your love life is being affected by children. So for some of you, yes. It's so funny. I'm feeling this heavy energy of like you want that next step to be with your partner. You want to have children with this person. So yes, if that is what you want, decide if that's what you want so that it can come to you. So spirit can fulfill that for you. Okay. Wow. Beautiful energy. See, getting to know each other, deepening your bonds. Very soon, spirit is saying very soon, what you want is coming, your wish fulfillment. It's beautiful. Let's get some of the Bodhi Tarot for you trying to hustle up because I don't want this reading to be super long. I'm gonna keep it under 20 minutes. And it's already really long. So let's see, what do we got for those that are in a committed relationship right now or are loosely involved and in seeing someone? Can we get two cards from the Bodhi Tarot for them, please? What do we got? You are abundant in all areas of your life because love is influencing your decisions. What a beautiful synchronicity. I was just saying that, just telling someone that um, I had a conversation with recently. They asked, you know, what influences all your decisions? And I said, love, love. The love you've shown yourself has helped you establish healthy relationships in your life. If you know your worth, others will know it too. See, you have, oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of all of you. There's so much self-love. Bitch, you know what you're working with. There's so much self-love, okay? There's the, you're rich because you're rich because you're, you're leading from your heart. There's so much self-love and so much self-care going on. And that is why all of these beautiful things are coming in for you. That is why. Okay, um, we'll pull some love oracle for you for those that are in a relationship. Do we have anything coming up for them? And then we will do, um, we will do some tarot for you. And then we're going to do your spirit message. This will be for singles and couples and we'll be done. All right, what do we got for our couples? Our couples are those loosely involved spirits, please. What do we got? What do we got? Can we get two cards? <clears throat> now that song is one of my head. Cheers to the freaking weekend. Divine intervention. So, Spirit is going to intervene somehow. I don't know how. This card looks scary, but it's not a bad card. It's just, it's fire. It's a fire energy. Social media. 
Okay, so however that's going to resonate, we have divine intervention. So this is literally spirit stepping in and saying, this is your path or this is what you're meant to do. And the sign will be crystal clear. You'll know it when you see it, okay? It's spirit literally stepping in and saying, not this way or this way or you know what I'm saying? It's a literal divine intervention from spirit that is going to course correct and let you know the correct path and you will feel it in your soul. You will know, okay? And then we have social media. So your person is, <laughs> they're either watching you on social media at all times, so <laughs> take that as it resonates, or maybe you are like a social media, um, you know, maybe you're an influencer, maybe they're an influencer. I don't know how that's gonna resonate. But, you know, take it out, it resonates. We have social media. It feels honestly, though, like your person spends a lot of time watching you on there. You might not know that. Um, like if you just started dating this person, I feel like they've already checked your Facebook and your Instagram and they might not even have told you that. So, all right, for those that are in a relationship or are loosely involved, what do we have in store for them for October, the beginning of November? What do we got for those who are in connections or are loosely involved for these spirit? Three cards. Let's wrap this up. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Should we take these? We got... No. They all just kind of flew out. The energy is definitely not right for that. All right. Three cards, please. What do we got for those loosely involved? Or for those in a committed relationship. Three cards, please. Death. So lots of changes and transformation. For some of you, you your person is literally a Scorpio. You know what? It's quite fitting because we're coming into Scorpio season. Nice and hot pretty soon. So it looks like it's going to be plenty of transformation between you and your person. And also a lot of personal transformation. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Yes, so fate has a hand in this relationship for sure. Wow, fortune favors the brave. One more. What is their final message, spirit? What is the final message for those that are in a relationship or loosely involved? You're, there's going to be some, some significant changes in your relationship. Good changes. Wheel of Fortune is good changes. Wow, and super quickly. So... <laughs> We have eight of wands. That means fast moving energy. I would say the end of October, beginning of November, you're going to see some significant change in your relationship. Look at that. Fate, fate, luck be a lady tonight. Fate has turned in your favor. And look, the energy is moving very quickly to bring you what you want. You're going to have some littles running around pretty soon. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's get the spirit message and we're going to wrap this reading up. All right. Okay. What do we got? Last spirit message for our same sex males. What is the last thing that they need to know spirits? What do you want to tell them and their beautiful um, connection that they have with their person? What is going to be the thing that blesses them the most? Right? Here we go. Your final beautiful message from your spirit team, guys. My beautiful divine masculine. That card flew out. We have the ringmaster of scrutiny. The ringmaster of scrutiny. And it came out in reverse. It says discernment, clear vision, and details. Number nine. Number nine, and we're going to read this straight from the book. Some of you are missing something really big that should be obvious. That's what it feels like. Okay, when the ringmaster of scrutiny appears as your challenger, and it does come up when it's upside down, this is right side up, this is reverse. It came out upside down, so that means it's a challenger. And that's weird because I don't, you know... All, all my cards are all right side up. See, they're all always right side up. 
So if it comes out and it flips out and it's upside down, it definitely needs means something different. So it says, when the ringmaster of scrutiny appears as your challenger, he warns you to observe your situation with discernment and clarity. See, you're missing something. It's time to see the flaws in your foundations you and others have built under you. It also seems that you may be getting caught up in the details of your dream when really it's time to leave them to the divine. Perhaps you're worrying about the past and the future too much. Forgetting that the dream is creating, created in the now time. Time to live in the now. Often the ringmaster of scrutiny also brings a warning to read the fine print. I told you, you're missing something. And watch for hidden agendas when you're involved with others. So see, there's something that you're missing. You're focusing too much on the past. You're not living in the present. You're focusing on something that doesn't matter. And you're missing the forest through the trees, right? Pause. Look at that forest. That forest is there. It's not just trees, okay? Revel in the good things. Revel in the moment. Stop worrying about whether or not your dream is going to come true because spirit knows what you want and they are working with you, co-creating with you to give you your deepest hearts desires but you have to trust that it's already on the way okay i love you i hope this reading helped and it resonated with you Mwah. have a fun halloween